I'm uh, Chris Baker and I'm an Ohio State Research Scholar in Integrated Sensor Systems and my research is uh, specialising in the application of cognition to radar sensors. Yeah, so uh, I'm British as you can tell from my accent and I spent most of my career working for the British Ministry of Defence in one of their research establishments. I then left to become an academic about 10 years ago, working first at University College in London, uh, then the Australian National University, Australia, and now here at Ohio State. I've spent uh, all of my life working in radar systems and my enduring interest is trying to extract information from echo signals because if we can do that then we can do so much more with the sensors. And uh, a particular theme that I'm developing at the moment is trying to apply the ideas of cognition, the type of cognition that, that you and I use as human beings, and uh, uh, put that into uh, radar systems to give them much more uh, ability than just to, for example, take a, a picture uh, or to, to, to detect aircraft in the sky and uh, present that as a picture to, to an operator. So um, in the research that we're doing, uh, traditionally, ra radar sensors and, and many other sensors, vision sensors as well, whilst they've become more and more sophisticated, they don't do much more than a camera does, which is kind of just take a picture and present a picture to a person. So what we're trying to do in radar is go beyond that. So an example that I often use is, is air traffic control. We're all familiar with an air traffic control radar. It um, uh, turns round and round at the airport and it maps out the location of aircraft in the sky. And that's great. It presents that picture then to an operator. And the operator makes decisions about the relative positions of the aircraft and then sends out a command or an instruction to them to reposition themselves so there's safe landings and takeoffs. Now, what we're trying to do with our research is effectively be able to replace the cognitive part of that system, and the cognitive part of that system is the human operator. And uh, this is very pertinent to a whole raft of application areas, and one that will have massive implications in the future, which is beginning to, uh, to be spoken about in the newspapers, is driverless cars. And in principle, through the use of these kinds of co artificial cognitive techniques applied not just to radar sensors, but to sensors in general, we genuinely have the potential for creating driverless and accidentless cars. The longer that you've been involved in a research area, the more worried I become about being a little bit trammeled in my thinking. So when I work with, with uh, undergraduates and graduates, it's their um, lack of experience that doesn't get in the way that I like. And I like to see the way that they're able to explore ideas and, and research threads that maybe wouldn't have occurred to me, but might just um, um, lead to somewhere significant in terms of the findings.